All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. It double honors unto the elders and apostles of JMS Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to you, I can bring out this word in diligence and in truth. Okay, so I want to play this on this interview from uh, uh, 1998 Will Smith, man. You know, because Jake, and it's going to show forth that <clears throat> he, he ultimately, uh, Esau, he ultimately, you know, just um, breaks Jake's spirit, man. To the point that they have intentions when they, they get to a certain level, if if that, if because we understand it may not apply for everybody. But, you know, they have some sort of understanding and hatred towards this devil at, at a point. And then it just becomes uh, pacified, man. Through, through gradualism and E and them being completely immersed in E's world, then it doesn't even become a factor anymore. So I just want to, and you'll see exactly what I mean when I play this video, but I'm going to let it play all the way through. And there it is. And you can tell on that, that Edomite bitch face, man, how basically she was she was doing the job of, of really of the handlers, man. Because everybody knows the truth and the wickedness of what Esau is doing, man. You know, it can only be hid so much, hey, but, but the truth is coming out. So she knows hey, that E created, you know, various different pestilences in order to infect Jake. And this just goes far beyond the so-called after uh, so-called civil rights, man. He, he did to Gad. He did to Reuben. Hey, the, 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 um, when we look at the uh, Guatemala syphilis project, the same thing happened here with Jake with the Tuskegee experiment, man. You know, so so it's a fact that this is what they do. And, and, and Will in this time, this, uh, this interview is over 20 years ago. But in this time, he understood the, the wickedness in which the devil, the extent in which the devil would go to in order to destroy his people, man. But he's so immersed within the, the belly of that beast, so to speak, speaking of the Hollywood industry, that you can only speak on so much, right? So he comes in understanding the, the wickedness of his enemy, but then look at him today, man. That, that dog does not have the same fight that it once had, right? So I, I want to go into the precepts because... This is why the prophets of Yahweh Shemel Shai are upon the scene, man. Yahweh Shemel Shai has us out there. Hey, so that we're continuously showing this devil the wickedness in what he's doing. Right? There is no break for the wicked, man. We're going to, as he's accusing us or is trying to accuse us, hey, we're going to continuously hey, uh, proclaim and prophesy of his downfall. Hey, and also, we're going to condemn him within his own kingdom. This is Genesis 49. And, um, to lock in, where is it? Where is Judah? This is, one second. Yeah, here we go. Genesis 49 and 9. It says, Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son, thou art going up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Right, and who's going to put that fire back into, you know, Judah, which being the head tribe of the hatred of Esau, man? Because right now, everything is, um, in the eyes of the general public, everything is just 
um, okay, right? You're still allowed to go eat your favorite food at your favorite restaurant. Hey, the, the money is tighter. Hey, but as long as they have their bread and circuses, hey, they're content with how it's going. Niggas only rouse up when, when they see footage of, of a cop's knee being put on the, the, the back of, of Jake's uh, neck, man. Other than that, these niggas just continuously kill each other. Right? But who's going to rouse them up? What's going to happen for Jake to get that, that spirit of, of, hey, as Esau has that enmity, as scripture speaks up about it in the book of uh, Ezekiel 25th, no, it's like it, Ezekiel 35th chapter, about that perpetual hatred. Hey, well, Jake is going to have to get back in that, that spirit as well. Hey, and we're not going to do anything physical, man. Hey, our fight is not physical or fighting, man. Hey, our fight is with the sword of the spirit which is preaching and prophesying. But this just goes to show <clears throat> how being in that, that, um, that, how can you say, being within that, um, that realm that, that Will was in, or still in, Salakia, so it breaks down the fight of Jake. Right? Now, I also want to grab another precept. So, In the book of Corinthians. The second Corinthians 2 and 11. And they read, let Satan shit get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So the Edomite woman there was trying to make it seem as if what he was saying was false or, or, or some type of made up facade. When in, in, in truth, we understand that he, he didn't just do that, but bringing forth the, the crack epidemic to Jake as well. That, that was another... Um, device which was to break down jake man not only uh judah a hey, but the, the northern kingdom as well because we were living right by each other right and i want to highlight another thing that she did right because they put him on that show he probably didn't even know that was going to be a question that they were going to ask but they heard him talking about it <clears throat> uh whenever so they put him on the spot you know she tried to categorize him so I want to go into that. Matter of fact, I got it in a blue letter here. This is Revelation 12 and 10. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our power, Yahweh, and the power of his anointed, Yahweh Shai, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power, Yahweh, day and night. And when you go into this word accuser, it goes into the word categorial. And that's why he mentioned, oh, am I a conspiracy theorist now? Basically trying to make it seem as if he's crazy, right? Conspire or conspiracy means to what? To breathe together, right? <clears throat> when everything that he brought out, she know it was true. But you have to make Jake look crazy to prove a point to the general public, man. It's like deny. They, they put up this, this facade or this wall of denial to make it seem as if the reality isn't what it is. Right, and they'll label you these buzzwords or conspiracy and that conspiracy theories. All these different buzzwords to try to sway the minds of the general people or the general public to to put it in their minds that that you know you're you're uh, uh, you're losing it. It says to accuse before a judge to make an accusation of extra judicial association. To accuse with primary reference to the ground of the accusation. To make a verbal assault which reaches it, its goal. To accuse formally before a tribunal. Bring a charge against publicly. Right. Basically ostracize you to the public by, by saying, oh, you're crazy for thinking these things. Oh, you're, because what? Because ultimately you're thinking for yourself. Which is just you um, paying attention. It's just you paying attention to what the, the left-hand side is doing. And every time someone is paying attention to what the left-hand side left -hand side is doing, hey, what happens? They either get, um, uh, you know, in the eyes of the, 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 the people, they either get ostracized or they get put to death. You know, those are that's what happens when you rebel, quote-unquote, against the status quo, man. You're seen as crazy. Or they'll, they'll public humiliate you, publicly humiliate you, or kill you, right? So we understand, hey, this is this is what it takes. This is what it takes, though, you know? <clears throat> but 
because to be completely down and uh, uh in, in in unity with the society, hey, that means what? You're against your Habashim Yahushai, man. <clears throat> so, I just want to bring this lesson out to the body, hey, because we understand in our position, matter of fact, I gotta grab this in Matthew, because in our position, we are going to be persecuted for what we say. This Matthew 5 and 10, it says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Because all he did was touch on one topic. You know, he didn't go in on, on more wickedness. He didn't go into the deep and, and nasty things in which Esau does, really. You know, it was, it was very a uh, surface level conversation. You know, he didn't bring out any articles. He didn't bring out any, any factual evidence. You know, he, he wasn't on the highways and hedges preaching, you know. And he wasn't going in the Bible to condemn them, you know. But the scriptures all ultimately say in the book of Nahum, the Most High will not acquit the wicked. So all the wickedness that Esau has done, hey, he's going to have to pay for that, man. Thus saith the scriptures. It says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And you see the change in Will Smith's mindset by being a fully eloped a with the, the image of the beast, a which is what his Hollywood industry, his, his plans and agendas uh, of wickedness within the, the Food and Drug Administration, within how he uh, maintains the air and water quality, you know, the minds of the people, the educational system. We can go on and on. All of these these um, subjects are part of the image of the beast, man. So he goes from uh, believing that the, the, the devil hey, was against his people to now being a pawn for the same system. Right? Hey, and that's the difference. The elect won't be broken. You know, <clears throat> the same message in which Yahweh Shemashai put within them to speak. Hey, that same message is what they're going to hold uh, uh, nigh unto their spirits hey, and not be broken, regardless of what happens to them. Right. So a hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the body. I want to give all praise, glory and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Haraka Kodash. A hey, double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yahweh, bringing out this word and diligence and in truth. Shalom.